but my Amazon delivery is here of grow it clay pellets it says pre-washed ready to use but I don't think they figured you were going to be putting live fish in the water so I have my colander here and uh, I'm gonna dump one batch at a time into here and then transfer them into here until it's full so the pre-washing um, that they did I guess can't prevent all of this dust from accumulating while they ship it to be fair you know this stuff has to be uh, these are rubbing on each other the whole truck ride here and they're probably creating a lot of dust every time they rub against each other but you can see what's coming out of this and I certainly don't want to end up with this in my fish tank so we'll see how long it takes to get clear water out of this a little over an hour an hour actually an hour and 20 minutes to uh, wash the gravel it turned out to go much better one cup at a time not that it, I don't know that it really went faster each time but it was much more satisfying because you could actually see it get clean wait till the water was running clean on that cup and then dump it in here um, because you had to do that 50 60 times but anyway it's all filled right to where it's supposed to so now I have to go buy some additional quarter inch hosing so I can hook this hose up to this fitting and let this one overflow into that one and back into the barrel and make sure the water is running clean then we're going to fill the fish tank back up um, then we're going to drain five gallons of it and put it in this bucket after testing it <clears throat> and then we'll start we'll start uh, seeing if it cleans the water properly now the uh, tank is refilled and I've turned the heater and the um, circulator pump back on we'll leave it like that for one hour and I'm gonna leave the hose in there to fill it because in an hour I'll pull five gallons of water out maybe four gallons of water out and uh, we'll test that we'll note the test results on the water and then uh, we'll put that in the system the hydroponic system and let it run for three days um, actually I'm not gonna put it hook it up to the to the hydroponic system for a couple of hours um, I need to run that pump for a few hours uh, through those clay stones and get any other dust out uh, that's gonna flow through uh, before I hook it up to the fish tank water my circulator pumps been running for an hour now all the water the fresh water is mixed so we now have uh, 20 gallons of water that is without salt again third change and we are siphoning four gallons of this water now that it's thoroughly mixed into this um, and we're going to use this pail to feed the aquaponic system and see if the nitrates come out of this water and see if anything gets added to the water that could cause us a problem the fish tank is refilled and it's ready to go um, fish are happy all the plants are back in everything's ready now I have the four gallons of water that I took um, out of the tank after mixing it for an hour after changing 15 gallons then I pulled four gallons and then I refilled those four gallons in the big tank um, but the salt content should be low enough now um, I think as I had said it's 55 gallon tank I like adding salt to my aquariums the fish are happier with it but you can't have salt if you're gonna have plants they warn you not to do that if you put the plants in they'll die there was one tablespoon of salt added for every five gallons of water so I added 11 tablespoons overall when filling the tank every time I've changed water if I took out 20 gallons I would put four tablespoons back in now I have changed 20 gallons twice and 15 gallons once without adding salt so I'm hoping that I've diluted it enough that it doesn't mean anything I think I have we will find out 
So I'm gonna do the tests right now and then take a picture of how they come out. So here's our test results. The pH is high. And if I take this and it's blue, like the bottom one here, which is 7.6, but this happens every time the water does have, is very hard here and the pH is high. But if I use the high pH test, it always comes out right below the 7.4 on the high pH. So I think I'm, you know, I'm like a 7.3, I'm somewhere in here between these two. It's a very light blue, but it's definitely blue. But I've never been able to get anything else other than that. This is the ammonia test. The ammonia came out as zero ammonia, none. This is the nitrite test. Nitrites came out at zero, zero nitrites. Now here's the nitrates test. The nitrate rate is what is gonna be uh, why we're doing these plants. Now this test comes out right here. If I can get a picture of it on the white to compare it more accurately, or maybe if I can get straight up to it. It is right here at the 10 parts per million, which is not good, but it's not bad. It's not awful, but it's always a problem. It's always the high number. There's never any ammonia. There's never any nit nit nitrites. Um, but the, uh, the nitrates build. So we're hoping by building this system that that's going to start being lower and that I won't have to change the water as much. And even if I still change the water every two weeks, I'm still hoping that when I test it, the thing is down to five parts per million instead of at 10 parts per million. So that's our goal. And that's what the project is all around, all about. And we'll do this exact test after we run this water through the plants for a couple of days. Now we're going to finish hooking up the plants probably move them into the new box, but not hook it up to this water yet until we flush the rocks a little more and um, make sure we flushed out all the chemicals from the working with the PVC glue and all of that stuff. Then we'll test this water. Then if the water, it, it, once we use this water for four days, we will test it. If it is still good, we'll uh, uh, then hook it up, put it on the shelf over here and plumb it into the tank. That's the goal.